Good day, students. So in this clip, we're going to be going over three examples on um, how to compute uh, infinite geometric series if the sum is computable. So let's go ahead and write down the instructions for the examples. So for one, two, three, we are to uh, describe. Let's write that again. Um, describe a given. infinite geometric series as a convergent or divergent and state y. Okay, so we'll classify uh, the series as convergent or divergent in state y. And after that, uh, if possible, possible, uh, find the value um, of the infinite sum. Okay? Of the infinite sum. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at uh, question number one. We have the uh, series, infinite geometric series defined by the following terms, one half plus three eighths plus nine over 32 plus dot, dot, dot. So the pattern, this uh, sum continues for ever to infinity because of these dots, okay? So first thing we want to do is ask ourselves is this um, series convergent or divergent. All right, all we just need to do is compare uh, the comma ratio with um, an interval. Remember, if um, uh, r is between 1 and negative 1, it's convergent. Um, so, and if r is less than or equal to um, negative 1, or if r is greater than or equal to 1, it's divergent, okay? It's divergent or it diverges. All right, so let's keep those facts uh, in mind, and let's uh, see what the common ratio is for, for, these, uh, for this infinite series, all right? So for this infinite, infinite series, r, as we know, is a2 divided by a1. This is a2 and this is a1, so it's going to be 3 eighths divided by one half. So we're going to have three eighths as the numerator multiplied by the reciprocal of the denominator two over one. Uh, so we can reduce this, cross reduce, two goes here one, two goes here four, and the common ratio is three over four. Okay? The question is, is three over four between one and negative one? Absolutely. Three over four is between one and negative one, hence um, the series is um, is convergent okay so just to illustrate let's say we have a number line um, we have zero in the center and this is negative one and one we know that three-fourths is somewhere right here this is three-fourths three-fourths is in between uh, this interval between one and negative one okay all right, so let's keep that in mind. Um, so it, let's write down the remark. Since since um, r, which equals 3 over 4, is between negative 1 and 1, uh, the series the series is convergent. The series is convergent and the sum exists. Okay, the sum exists. All right, now we have to find what the sum is. All right, let's title this the B part. What is the sum? Well, to find the sum, we're going to use the formula S infinity, which indicates the infinite sum equals the first term divided by 1 minus the common ratio, okay? All right, so what is the first term of this series is 1 half, right? So a1 equals 1 half, 
What is the common ratio? We already found that, established that it's 3, 4. So these are the only two uh, variables or terms, values of the variables we need to compute the infinite sum. All right? So um, S infinity is simply going to be 1 half divided by um, 1 minus 3 fourths. Okay? Express this as a fraction. Let's change that. Express uh, 1 as a fraction. Write it as 1 over 1. And to find the LCD, I'll times this by 4, top and bottom. So we're going to have uh, 1 half divided by 4 over 4 minus 3 over 4. That equals 1 half divided by 3, 4 fourths minus 3 fourths is 1 fourth. All right, now what we're going to do next is uh, multiply the, the numerator by the reciprocal of the denominator, so 1 half times the reciprocal of the denominator 4 over 1. So 2 goes here 1, 2 goes here 2. So the infinite sum is simply 2. All right, so the sum of the um, arithmetic uh, series is 2. So 1 half plus 38 plus 9 over 32. If you add this pattern forever to infinity, it's going to be equal to 2. All right, so there goes your final result. All right, let's take a look at number two. We're going to execute the same steps for number two. So for number two, we actually have the series expressed in sigma notation, okay? So we have the sum from n equals one to infinity of um, three times negative three halves raised to the n minus one, okay? All right, so let's take a look at this uh, infinite geometric series. How do we know that it's an infinite geometric series? Well, we look at, we're starting from n equals 1 and going to infinity. So we have an infinity as a bound, upper boundary for a series. We know it's an infinite uh, geometric series, all right? So in this uh, expression, what is the common ratio? Because that's what tells us what the, um, if it's convergent or divergent, all right? So the... Uh, number that's been exponentiated, the negative 3 over 2, that's basically what r is, okay? All right, so in this problem, the common ratio r equals negative 3 over 2. So the question is, is negative 3 over 2 between um, 1 and negative 1? Absolutely not. So negative 3 over 2 is like 1 and a half, right? So uh, let's sketch the situation. So this is 0. Say this is negative 1, and this is 1. In order for this series to be convergent, the common ratio has to be in between uh, 1 and negative 1. But negative 1 half, negative 3, and a, 3 over 2 is right here, somewhere here. Um, negative 3 over 2. The same thing as negative 1 and a half, all right? So since it's located somewhere here, it is not. It is not in the in this boundary, hence it is not convergent. Remember, the common ratio has to be in between one and negative one for the series to be convergent. All right, so they can write since um, r, which is equal to negative three over two, is not between negative one and one. The series is divergent, and the sum, the sum does not exist. Okay, and the sum does not exist. All right. How about the b part? The b part. What is the infinite sum? All right. So the infinite sum is non-existent, is non-existent uh, since the series is divergent, okay? So we cannot compute what um, the infinite sum is. So making use of the formula A1 equal, uh, over 1 minus R, this is absolutely wrong. This is inaccurate. All right, so it's non-existent. All right, now let's go ahead and take a look at question number three. 
We're going to uh, consider the series for question three. There's also going to be a sigma notation. Uh, the infinite sum from n equals 1 to infinity of uh, 5 times 1 third the n minus 1. Okay? So in order to determine if this series is divergent or convergent, we need to find uh, what the common ratio is and compare it to 1. Okay? Note that 1 third is being exponentiated here, so this is your common ratio. Alright, so uh, what we're going to do here uh, is ask yourself where is one third relative to one and negative one or equals one third we know that one third is between one and negative one right so since one third is between negative one and one the series is convergent convergent and the sum exists okay and the sum exists so we're gonna have a numerical value for our B part all right so since the series is convergent the B part we're gonna compute s infinity which equals a1 over 1 minus r okay so let's go ahead and compute that so a1 uh, how do we find a1 Alright, so to find A1, what we're going to do is take a look at the uh, sigma notation for the series we had. And to find A1, we're just simply going to plug in the lower bound of our sum, infinite sum, into the variable. Okay, so we're going to plug in um, 1 into the n right there. Okay, that will help us compute what A1 is. So A1 is going to be 5 times 1 third raised to the 1 minus 1. Okay, that tells you what the first term is. So we're going to have 5 times uh, 1 third raised to the 0th power. We know anything raised to the 0 is 1, so this is going to be 5 times 1, which equals 5. So that goes A1. The common ratio we have certainly de uh, determined before as a numer the number in the that is being exponentiated. So 1 third is being exponentiated, so the common ratio is 1 third. Okay, so we have all the ingredients to generate our or to compute our uh, infinite sum. So S infinity is 5 uh, divided by 1 minus a comma ratio, 1 minus 1 third. Okay, all right, let's compute what this is. So it's going to be 5, 1 minus 1 third is 2 thirds. And then we can multiply 5 by the reciprocal of 2 thirds, which is 3 over 2. Multiply across, final answer is going to be 15 over 2 as the sum. Okay? So, in conclusion, we can uh, write down the following remark um, that the sum of the infinite geometric series just starts from negative from 1 to infinity of 3 times, oh, sorry, uh, I'm writing the wrong one, of 5 times. one-third to the n minus one is equal to 15 over two, okay? So there you have it. So thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. You can feel free to subscribe to my channel by clicking up here. And please post a comment to let me know what you think about this presentation. More videos can be found on my Thanks again and have a wonderful day.